Up until this point, we've only seen chemical reactions that occur in one direction as indicated by this reaction arrow. However, in theory, any chemical reaction could occur in the reverse direction at the exact same time as the forward direction. Usually this is not the case. Commonly, there is some driving force that makes the reaction either proceed forward or in reverse. This driving force favors one direction so much that the extent of the reverse reaction is so small that it's really impossible to actually measure. This driving force is the change in free energy that accompanies the reaction, and it is an exact measure of the tendency of the reaction to go to completion. When standard state delta G is very large and it has a negative sign, the reaction may go to completion in the forward direction. If standard state delta G has a positive sign, the reaction